In this exercise I'm going to show how to pick a set of fold sticks and then group them together into fold planes. Let's begin and display the default seismic data on an inline. I'm going to, to change the inline position to 110 because that's where in the bottom left corner we can see the folds that we will be picking. These small folds. And I'm also going to set the scoring step to 10. Let's add a new fold stick set. And we are almost ready to start picking. As always, you can use the left mouse clicks and a double click to finish your interpretation or you can hold the left mouse click and draw along the section and release to finish the fold stick. If you made a mistake you can always use the redo and undo icons on the fold panel or in a similar manner you can use Ctrl Z and Ctrl Y shortcuts. Also, if you want to remove a single seat, you can hold the control key and the left mouse click to remove it. Of course, don't forget to save your work regularly. For the first time, it will ask for a name. And I'm going to interpret a couple of more folds on this inline and then move further. To scroll through the cube, you can always use these green arrows for the previous and next position, or you can also use the shortcuts Z and X. I'm also going to display my full stick set on lead sections. You can do it by right clicking on it, display on lead sections, or using the V shortcut on the keyboard. I'll speed up the fold picking process. If you are watching this video and picking at the same time, you may want to pause it and continue interpretation in your own tempo. sticks you can also use the selection and deletion tool that are located on the fold panel. I'm not going to delete these sticks at all. Also if you want to, to edit one of the sticks that are already picked just point at it and click on one of the nodes of this stick to activate it. Now the stick became editable and you can extend it further. Though I'm not going to do this. Okay, I finished picking the fold sticks and now I'm going to group these sticks into fold planes. To facilitate this process, I'm going to display a fold discontinuity attribute on a time slice that goes through these sticks so that I know which sticks belong together. To do that, I'm going to first add an empty Z slice. I'll cancel that for the time being and I'm going to drag this slice to the position of uh, 1500 milliseconds so that it goes a little bit below so that it goes through my sticks and I'm going to display the volume 9-1 similarity on fault enhancement seismic. I will turn off my inline 
see how the separately interpreted fault sticks can be easily grouped into fault planes when co-rendered with the similarity attribute on the Z slice. I'm going to group the sticks that are located along the same faults by using the selection icon. I'm going to select these sticks, all of them are green now, and I'm going to copy this selection, everything that's in green, to a fault. And this fault will be a new single fault, and I'm going to call it fault one, and click this green check mark, transfer selected sticks. A new fault plane appeared in the three D scene, and in the same way, I'm going to couple of more folds. As you already noticed, the selected sticks turn green and the sticks that are not currently selected remain violet. Just group the fold sticks and give a new name. If you accidentally selected a wrong stick, you can always redraw your selection along the uh, correct sticks and create a new fold. You can change the color of the folds by clicking on it, going to display properties so that all the sticks would appear in different colors. This concludes the workflow showing how to pick a set of fold sticks and group them into fold planes.